Hi everybody, so today I wanted to talk about why people hate Star Stable Online. So I thought this would be nice to talk about, even though, I mean it's sad to talk about, but these are just opinions that I've seen over the years on why people might not like this game. Because even when the game was like popping in 2016, I still would see people in the game say they don't like it. It was obviously a lot less people, so let's just get into that. A lot of people dislike this game because it's so expensive. And a lot of white knights are like, it's not expensive, you're not supposed to buy that many horses. No, shut up. Literally, like, if you love horses, if you truly, truly love horses, you're going to want to buy anything horse related, like, for real. Like, that's just how it is. And for a lot of people playing this game, it's just really expensive. I'm not sure if I posted the video yet, but I'm making a video about how expensive the game is if I want to buy all the horses I want. And I think it costs like $800 just for me to get all the horses I want. And that's like a lot of money. And if I was to save star coins to get all those horses I want, that would be 10 years of waiting. Because you only get like 5,000 star coins per year. So it is kind of annoying. I hate to say it, but this game really is like a rich kids game. Like if you want horses, you need to have the money for it. And that's how it is in real life as well. Really sadly, like if you want to collect briars, you have to have the money. Collecting is so expensive you know? And even if you don't collect, it's still expensive. Like, I don't collect horses on purpose, you know? I don't collect them because I collect them. I don't collect. I just buy what I like. And sadly, like, it's expensive, you know? It's also expensive to own horses in real life. Like, for real, horses, if you're collecting briars, it's for rich kids. If you're collecting digital horses, it's for rich kids. If you want to be an actual equestrian, that's for rich kids. And I hate when people say, you know, well, it's not for rich people. Like, I'm poor and I have a horse. Bro, you're poor because you put all your thousands into that horse. But if you didn't have the horse, you would have thousands and thousands of dollars. So, whatever. Being in a question really is for rich people. Like, your horse has veterinary bills, farrier bills, food bills, everything. Like, it's expensive. So, don't sit there and be like, everyone could own a horse. That's not true. It's literally expensive. And this game is also very expensive. Not as expensive as a real horse, but it's still expensive. So I think that's a big reason why people don't like the game, because if you want horses and you can't get the horses, you'll feel sad, you know? And I know how that feels, because, like, when I first joined, I only had a starter horse, and I hated that starter horse, because everybody that I really met in the game would be like, your horse is ugly, you know? Go buy a real horse, you noob. Whatever. So basically, I hated my starter horse, and I couldn't get star coins for a long time, so... You know, when you feel left out like that, it's just, it's terrible. I let go of FOMO, but even if you have no FOMO, let's say you don't care about missing out on stuff, you'll still want horses, I feel like, because if you find something pretty you want in the game, you're going to want to buy it. Like, a lot of people I know of, they hate the Ackleton course, and, you know, so I feel no FOMO over that because I'm not being left out because no one wants it. But I want it, though. I think it's so pretty, so of course I want the Ackleton courses with or without FOMO existing. Anyway, another reason why I think people hate the game is because, like, a lot of people who are old players, they don't like the quests anymore. Like, the storyline changed, so of course it's really easy to dislike the game because, like, if it got rebooted, because it really did get rebooted, like, you're not gonna really like it. Like, a lot of people just hate reboots because it's so hard to reboot something to be good. It really, really is. Like, the Monster High reboot was terrible. Like, a lot of movie reboots are terrible. And a lot of game reboots are also terrible because it's so hard to compete with the original concept because the original could usually be better. Not always, but for the most part it really is. So it's really difficult for a lot of players to love the game because of the storyline changing. A lot of new players, though, might still hate the game even without knowing the original lore because they don't like the quests, you know? And I've said this before, but Star Stable quests are very much fetch and retrieve. Like, if you play games like on the Switch or on Steam or whatever, you've probably come across some really fun games that do have storylines. However, in Star Stable, we don't really have much say-so in what we do. Like, if a character tells you, go get my groceries, go to this location, you have to do it. It's very fetch and retrieve. You have to fetch the item they want, retrieve it to them, on repeat for, like, every single level. There is times where Star Stable gives us options and is like, hey, you know, pick an option. What do you think during the quest where you could pick, like, an opinion or whatever? 
but like it's not enough like i'm just so bored doing their quests and when i first joined like i loved the quest because of the storyline but after playing like better newer improved games it's just a lot fun it's just a lot of more it's a lot more fun actually to just like play other games just the fetch and retrieve technique in games is just like a really really boring thing you know because it doesn't really give you much like opportunity in the game you just have to go along with it you really don't have a say so i remember like a few years ago korean mistil they said in a video something like how we're pretty much a slave to Yorvik, and I was like, that's so mean to say, because Star Stable works so hard, but then, like, I thought about it, like, recently, I'm like, she was so right, though. Like, they were so right, because, like, we literally have to do whatever the game tells us to do. And other games, you kind of just, like, play, and have fun, and go along with what you want to do, you know? But in Star Stable, like, you are required to do these quests in order to unlock areas, in order to unlock attack and items and whatever like you literally have to do these boring fetch and retrieve quests in order to do whatever you want really you have to level up too because like some horses you want to buy are level restricted so if you want to get a certain horse you have to be a certain level when i was younger like i had no clue why people would hate the quests but like i didn't have any other game to play really you know i did play skyrim before but it was just to steal horses and run away but after playing some actual games that have storyline that I actually took part in, I could see why people compare this game to other games and say other games are better. You know, because if this is all you know, then you're not going to think of anything better because this is all you know. You know, like, literally, like, a lot of younger players, all they have is Star Stable, Minecraft, and Roblox, and for them it might be the best thing in the world. You know, but older players who could afford better games, they could obviously compare those games to this game and say, wait a minute, why is this game, like, so, like, easy to play? I think it's just, it's so easy to play. Like, literally, there's no challenge. It's fetch and retrieve, train a horse, do a daily quest, log off. There's no challenge, there's no suspense, it's just, it is what it is. And it's really annoying to a lot of people, I feel like. You know, because back in the day, all I really played was Skyrim. Not, I didn't really play it, though. I just played to steal a horse and log off. But I also played Minecraft, and I also played browser games. I didn't know of good gameplay because the only game I ever played was Star Stable. So this was the best thing in the world to me. It's just once you see something better, you kind of get, like, spoiled. And you're like, wait a minute. Like, I want something better now. And that's totally okay, you know, because I'm like that. But it makes it a lot harder for other players to understand why people might not like this game. And you could say, well, then just don't play. But it's hard to not play when there isn't really any other horse game like this. Like, we don't really have any other multiplayer horse games that are really easy to run on computers. Like, for real, like... A lot of people don't have a good gaming computer, so how do you expect them to find a new horse game to play when a lot of new horse games require really good specs? You know, some people love how easy it is, you know? Like I've said before, I do enjoy how easy this game is, you know? Like, I could just log on and do absolutely nothing. I could just zone out and do a race or a championship with no suspense, no challenge at all. But sometimes it's like... If you want to actually play a game and be invested in the lore and the surroundings and everything, it's hard to get immersed into the game like I used to because Star Table removed a lot of the challenge. They removed realism. They removed storyline. So it's hard to even care about the game anymore because it's a reboot now, pretty much. So, yeah. But that's just how I feel. So, anyway. Bye.